a little more than two weeks ago, Hesoft 6.30 released, and a few days after that release, I made a quick video just spreading the word that Hesoft 6.30 was out, and a number of you requested that I make a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to upgrade from an older version of Hesoft to a newer version of Hesoft. And while I think that that's a really good topic to cover, I'm not going to necessarily do a step-by-step -step tutorial, and you'll see why in a moment. Before I get started, though, I need to preface that I'm not affiliated with NASA, any of the different space flight centers, HESARC, or any of the different higher energy astrophysics and astronomy missions, nor am I affiliated with any university. I'm an independent researcher who takes full advantage of HESOFT as well as the different data archives at HESARC to facilitate my own independent research in higher energy astronomy and astrophysics. Additionally, I hope that by the end of this video, I've earned your subscription and or a like on the video. Okay, so upgrading versions of Hesoft it might seem a little bit daunting, uh, but in reality, it's really simple. Uh, I know that the first few times that I upgraded to a new version of Hesoft, I was a little bit hesitant and worrisome just because, for me, the first time I installed Hesoft, it was a little bit tricky and I wasn't really sure how to do it. But uh, upgrading is not very difficult because if you've installed Hesoft before, well, you're essentially going to do the same exact thing or almost the same exact thing uh, for newer versions and installing newer versions. Of course, I'm talking about local installations of Hesoft. So you can see right here that uh, we have, you know, the download page for Hesoft for Hesoft 6.30 came out obviously on March 14th. But I'm not talking about the Docker installation, which is in beta, or the Hesoft Pi, or the Sci Server, or Hira, or any of that. I'm talking about just your standard run of the mill local installation of Hesoft. There is really no simple way for you to just upgrade your existing version of Hesoft. The way that you upgrade to a newer version of Hesoft is just by downloading the entire source code, just like you did before, and then running through the entire installation process again. So all you're going to do is just go to the download page like you would, uh, or you really you could just follow through all of the steps uh, that I've done for older uh, tutorial videos for installing Hesoft. I my most recent one is for Hesoft version 6.28, but basically all you're going to do is just come to the download page. I'll strongly recommend you choose the source code option, and then you're going to choose your operating system. I'm using Ubuntu, so we'll choose Ubuntu, and then I recommend you choose all the desired packages because it's a lot easier just to have them all rather than need to go through and download newer ones. Then you're just going to simply wait for it to download, and you're going to run through the same installation process. You're going to make sure that all the dependencies are there. They should already be there if you have an older version of Hesoft running. Then you're going to run your configuration, run your build, and run your installation. So you can see right here that I have Hesoft 6.29 as well as Hesoft 6.30. And you might be asking, why do I have Hesoft 6.29? And this is really the key difference between installing... Uh, a version of Hesoft for the first time versus upgrading uh, an existing version of Hesoft. You can see I have them both right here, and Hesoft 6.30 is actually fairly new. And generally, newer versions of Hesoft are a little bit buggy, and they have some problems, and generally speaking, patches are released to cover those problems. If you want to stay up to date with those, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go ahead and uh, subscribe to an email list or you can subscribe here because I'll most likely make a quick video just again spreading the word that that patch is released and that you should apply that patch uh, if you are running an existing version of Hesoft 6.30. But you can see here why I have both of these available. I have Hesoft 6.30 and you can see I have all the you know same commands as you would see with any of the different uh, versions of Hesoft. So we have this export head s, then we have, uh, you know, this other line for the head s in it dot sh, and then we also have this alias right here. But you'll notice that right above that, I have Hesoft 6.29 right there, and I have it all commented out. And the reason why I have it set up this way is because if I run into a bug or some issue with the newer version of Hesoft that I know was, uh, working without any issue in the older version of Hesoft, then I can just comment out uh, all of these lines for Hesoft 6.30, uncomment out these lines for Hesoft 6.29, and then I can just uh, reinitialize Hesoft, and I know I'll be having a, a working program. This obviously isn't going to work too well with, let's say, uh, any of the IXPE programs, because IXPE is really, and, and its programs are really the main release point 
of HeSoft 6.30, so you're not going to have any of that software with HeSoft 6.29 or prior. But let's say that there's some kind of issue with, let's say, BerryCore. BerryCore is a really, really useful tool, and uh, you're having some kind of issue with it with, I don't know, let's say Nicer. Well, there aren't any new updates to BerryCore with Nicer, so we could just go through and, again, comment out HeSoft 6.30, uncomment HeSoft 6.29, reinitialize it, and then we'll have a working version of BerryCore. I have not encountered any issues, though, yet with HeSoft 6.30, and I don't necessarily think I will because I'm not really working too much with IXPE or Swift, which have uh, a lot of the major changes with HeSoft 6.30. But again, I will keep up to date with these patches as they come out, and generally speaking, I'll keep an older version of HeSoft around for about two to three months uh, right after that initial release. After those three months, really, there's no reason for me to keep it around, so I'll just go ahead and delete it. But in reality, upgrading from an older version of HeSoft to a newer version of HeSoft is really simple and straightforward. It's really just going through the same exact steps of installation. There isn't a real easy way of upgrading your existing installation. The best way to do it is just for you to download the entire new version and run through the standard installation process. So I hope that's answered some of your questions. If you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.